The state of Jammu and Kashmir's original accession, like all other princely states, was on three matters, defense, foreign affairs, and communications. All the princely states were invited to send representatives to India's constituent assembly, which was formulating a constitution for the whole of India. They were also encouraged to set up constituent assemblies for their own states. Most states were unable to set up assemblies in time, but a few states did, in particular Saurastra Union, Travancore Cochin, and Mysore. Even though the state's department developed a model constitution for the states, on May 19, 1949, the rulers and chief ministers of all the states met in the presence of state's department and agreed that separate constitutions for the states were not necessary. They accepted the Constitution of India as their own constitution. The states that did elect constituent assemblies suggested a few amendments which were accepted. The position of all the states, or unions of states, thus became equivalent to that of regular Indian provinces. In particular, this meant that the subjects available for legislation by the central and state governments was uniform across India. In the case of Jammu and Kashmir, the state's politicians decided to form a separate constituent assembly for the state. The representatives to the Indian Constituent Assembly requested that only those provisions of the Indian Constitution should be applied to the state as corresponding to the original instrument of accession, and that the state's Constituent Assembly would decide on the other matters. Government of India agreed to the demands shortly before the aforesaid May 19th meeting with the other states. Accordingly, the Article 370 was incorporated into the Indian Constitution, which stipulated that the other articles of the constitution that gave powers to the central government would be applied to Jammu and Kashmir only with the concurrence of the state's constituent assembly. This was a temporary provision in that its applicability was intended to last until the formulation and adoption of the state's constitution. However, the state's constituent assembly dissolved itself on January 25, 1957 without recommending either abrogation or amendment of the Article 370. Thus, the article was considered to have become a permanent feature of the Indian constitution as confirmed by various rulings of the Supreme Court of India and the High Court of Jammu and Kashmir, the latest of which was in April 2018. But now it's your turn because the audience is the king. So what is your opinion about Article 370? Kindly tell me your opinion in the comment section and do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the Geopolitics Culture YouTube channel. So see you in the next amazing video.